Today we're talking about what makes hail. And hail is formed in a big thunderstorm. Now, thunderstorms can build up 20, 30, 40, 50, 60,000 feet into the sky. And even in the middle of summertime, at least the top part of that storm is going to be in air cold enough for water to freeze. And here's what happens. In a thunderstorm, you have areas of rising air and you have areas of falling air. We call them updrafts and downdrafts. If there's a drop of water that gets caught up in an updraft and it gets carried high enough into that storm where the temperature's below freezing, that raindrop will freeze into a small ball of ice. If it gets caught in the downdraft, then it starts to fall. It falls into that layer that's above freezing, gets a coating of water on that ball of ice. If it gets caught back up in an updraft, that could be carried right back up into the top of the storm where it's below freezing. That new layer of water freezes. And then it'll fall back into the downdraft, get another layer of water, get caught back in the updraft, take it back up below freezing, that layer will freeze too. So essentially what you have is a continuous cycle of going up and down the updrafts and downdrafts where it gets a layer of water, freezes, then falls, gets another layer of water, goes back into the top of the storm, freezes, so that ball of ice just continues to grow. Now eventually, depending on the speed of the updraft, the strength of the storm, eventually the ball of ice will get so heavy it can't stay up there anymore and it will fall to the ground. Typically, hail size measures about the size of a pea to about the size of a marble. However, in the strongest storms with the strongest updrafts that can carry larger and larger hailstones back up into the top of the storm, some hailstones can be anywhere from golf ball to baseball and even at times as large as a softball in the strongest storms that typically occur out in Tornado Alley in the United States.